the first step is to get some references. So go ahead and go to this website, theblueprints.com, and then left click on the search area, type in Volvo 9700, press enter. These two are pretty much the same, the 6x2, 13.8 meters, and 15 meters, but we're just going to use the 15 meter version, so we're just going to left click on this. To get a bigger, bigger picture of this, we're going to right click and choose inspect. These are the, the steps for Google Chrome. If you have a different web browser, the steps may be different. If you need help, just let me know in the comments. Then we're going to right click on this and choose open in a new tab. This gives us a bigger picture to work with. Now we're going to right click on this, save image as. I'm going to choose my desktop to save it to my desktop and then just click save. That's all we have to do for this. Now what you want to do is go through and download all of the reference images that I have linked in the description. I'll show you one example and then you can download the rest on your own. So this is the first example. All these links will be in the description. So you want to go to each link one at a time and then click download full resolution and hopefully that will download it to your desktop I'm not sure where it, it just downloaded it for me probably in my downloads folder but just be aware of where it's saving it so that you can find it later and most of them are on this website so it's going to be the same process just click download but there's one that's on Pixabay for this one just click on free download and if you don't have an account, you're not going to be able to download the biggest resolution. So you can just make an account and then click on the biggest resolution and click download and you should be all set. So that's how you get those references. I just want to see where this got saved. I'm not really sure. Hopefully it's on my desktop. But then we're done with this so you can just close it or minimize it. Yeah, it's not on my desktop, that's alright though, I'll find it later. So once you have all of your stuff downloaded, it should be here on your desktop. Then you want to go to wherever you want all this stuff to be saved. You want to save it all in the same folder. So mine, I just usually save in my art stuff and blender stuff. When you get to the place you want to make it, you're just going to right click make a new folder so go down to new choose folder and I usually just give it this name so I'll just click on this once and then click on the the name then control C to copy go over here left click once control V to paste and that's what I'll do for that I've already done this though so I'm just gonna delete this one Once you have the folder, you're just going to double click it. And I usually create a references folder, so just right click, new folder, name it references. And this picture right here of the blueprint, I just drag and drop in this folder. And any of the, the pictures, like this picture for example, I'll go into my references and then I'll drag and drop all of my reference pictures in this folder and then we should be all set with our references and our blueprint so I'm going to delete this blueprint because I already have it and we can go ahead and close this and open up blender this is a new scene you can just go to file new if you don't have this it'll open up a new scene I'm just going to turn on my screencast keys 
You don't have to do that step. That's just so you can see what I'm pressing. Then we're going to save this. We just go to File, Save As. You want to navigate to that folder where you saved your blueprint. And then you want to give it today's date and name it. Or, and then just do Control V because we already copied that the name. And we'll just leave it like that. So that will be the name of it. It doesn't matter what the name is. Just name it whatever you want. Try to keep it something that makes sense. And then just save the file. Now we want to delete all this stuff, so press A twice, press delete, and then left click on delete to confirm. And we want to add in our background images, so we're just going to left click on this plus sign, scroll down, put a check mark on background images by left clicking here, left click the triangle to expand this area, click and add image four times. That's because we want to add in four images. Now go to open and select that um, select the, the background image that we saved, the blueprint that we saved, and choose open image. Then press three on the number pad and five on the number pad. That will bring us into side view and change it to orthographic view so we can see the reference image. And we're going to change this from all views to right view because we only want this in the right view. This blueprint's a little different than the ones we're used to. This has the front of the vehicle facing to the right. Normally we have it facing to left. If you want it to be like the normal style, you can just do flip horizontal and it will now be facing to the left. But just for the sake of showing you how to do it differently, we're going to set this up with this as the front on the right side and it's going to be a little bit different. So what we're going to do is we're just going to move it over. We're going to click left click and drag here and hold shift to move more slowly if you want to. And you want the front of the vehicle to be lined up with this blue line, which is the z-axis. And you want the wheels to be lined up with this yellow line, which is the y-axis. So we're going to bring it down by left-clicking and holding shift on this number. Bring it down until it's lined up. So that looks pretty good on both areas. Now we want to go over here, just make sure you scroll down a little. Left click on this icon and choose the, the same picture. And change this to top view. Now press 7 to go to top view. So the only two views that are going to be different since we have this on the right side is top view and side view. So for side view, normally we would have the front of the car here and then the rest of the car this way. But because the, the image is reversed, we have it going this way. And it's going to be the same for top view. So if we press 7 in top view, normally we have the car going this way. But since it's a, a different direction, we're going to have it actually going this way instead. That's the only difference. So here on our top view image, we're going to go to the rotation, left click here, type in negative 90, and then press enter. And again, we're going to hold shift and left click to position this. We're going to position this, uh, this green line is going to be the center of the vehicle, and this red line is going to be where the front is going to be touching. So we're going to bring this down until the front is touching the red line. Just by left clicking and dragging on this, that's how you move it up and down like this until it's lined up nicely. And then we're going to go to the back of the car or the bus. And we want to try to center this better, so we're going to hold shift and left click on this. And center it as best we can. That's probably 
pretty close. And to just pan around like this, it's just holding shift and middle mouse. That's how you you pan the view like this. So that's the top and the right view. Now we need to do front view. So we're going to go down here. Do the same thing. Left click on this. Left click on this. Change this to front view. So now this one's in front view. So we're going to press 1 in the number pad. Now we're in front view. And again, we're going to hold shift and left click to move these into position. This again is going to be centered, so we want to try to center it. And we also want the wheels on this red line. So we're going to try to get the wheels on the red line. And we're going to try to center it as best we can. I'm just using this little rectangle to try to center it. So I want half the rectangle on this side, half of it on this side. That's relatively close. I think I want to move it over slightly a bit more. So I'm going to left click on this value, left click on the end of it, and add a 5. And that will center it a little bit better. We're going to use the same X value here for the back as we did for the front. So we're going to add in this image first. So we're just going to left click here, left click on the image, and then change this to back view. So an easy way to copy this value down to this value, so from the front view to the back view, is to just hover over this value, press control C. It doesn't look like anything happened, but we just copied this value. So if we go down here and hover over this value and press control V, it's going to paste that value. So now what we have to do is press control one to go to back view. And it's already centered according to this blue line. So the only thing left to do is to get the wheels lined up with this red line. So again, we're just going to hold shift and left click and drag to bring this up and line it up as best you can with this reference that looks pretty good so now we should have all of the views set up you can check them if you want by pressing 3 on the number pad for right view 1 for front view 7 for top view and control one for back view it looks like everything is all set so we're going to go to file and save 